just built a twin turbo kit for my LS Swab Lamborghini, but are we gonna be able to fit those turbos and that exhaust piping behind the back bumper? Are you serious? Look at this thing. I think you just threw twin turbos on it. Before we get started, we need to make sure that we get all of our tools back up to par. If you guys saw my last episode, you guys would have noticed that the grinder and the bandsaw were giving us a little bit of an issue. But luckily my birthday was over the weekend and my lovely parents watched my YouTube video. So you guys can probably guess where I'm going with this. That's right. They went ahead and bought me a grinder and a bandsaw blade for my birthday. I did go ahead and buy some extra welding supplies because we are gonna be doing a lot of welding, fabricating this exhaust. But there is a major downside to all of this. I'm one year closer to 30. What I got planned for this exhaust is I am gonna be using three inch polished stainless steel piping, as you guys can see here. And you guys are probably wondering, why don't you go with titanium like everybody else? Well, I can't afford it because that stuff is like $200 an elbow and that is just ridiculous in my opinion. But I'm gonna be using that piping over there to start the exhaust and I want it to exit, this is the original plan, is to have it exit through the original slots in the bumper. So it would be these slots right here. And hopefully we can achieve that. I'm not sure if we're gonna run into any clearance issues like I said earlier, but more or less, this is kind of what the end goal is. This is the original one that came off of the car. But let's go ahead and just, uh, I guess, get started and see, uh, see what happens. I mean, fingers crossed. piece we put up and we are really tight on clearance i mean let me give you guys a better perspective of what we got going on so literally from the back of the, or from the center of the exhaust housing to this is all the all the space we have so i think we're gonna end up having to get creative and uh see if somehow we can uh, add some pie cuts and make that bend a little tighter um that sucks but well I guess let's see what we'll come up with. I managed to squeak by that bumper ever so slightly and if you don't believe me let me show you guys because there is 
a very tight gap there. But I did manage to keep off of the transmission a good bit. So I think we're going to be good there. Um, I did also get this other piece built up. And you guys are probably wondering why it's not centered. And that is because I have it taped up over there. And I need to figure out how much of that end I need to cut off. But in order to do that, I got to install the bumper cover back on it to kind of figure out where everything needs to sit. Um, and then I can add this tip over here, which is gonna extend it out as far as I need it. But I need to throw that bumper cover back on first to see what other issues we run into. got one side all tacked up and it has been a huge learning curve but i did want to give you guys a little bit of a tip i guess you could call it um for any of you guys that are wanting to get into this and are beginners like me uh just keep a, in mind where you're going to be making your cuts so like for instance i wanted to add a pie cut here well me not thinking that this is right where that radius is that bend and if you think about it when that bend is being made it is actually shrinking and well, I guess not shrinking, but it is collapsing and stretching the material. So like I used a three inch piping and I went and I cut a pie cut out of this uh, three inch thick. And when I went to put the pie cut up here, it actually hung out, you know, maybe eighth or quarter inch. So I had to do a lot of fabrication to this uh, pie cut in order to get it to fit, fit up decently. Um, so just you know, just be aware of where you're making that cut. Cause you, if you could have added it up here on a piece that's straight or down here, uh, you wouldn't have ran into that issue. Um, so just something that I learned, but overall you guys, I'm actually pretty happy with how this came out. I mean, it's not perfect, but it looks decent, presentable, I guess you could say. Um, but now we're gonna have to move on to the hard part. And that is trying to get the other side to look exactly like this side.
I hope your guys' luck is better than mine because I'm not having any luck right now. Literally, the bandsaw blade that we just replaced just broke. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I tried to weld it back together and it held on for just a little tiny bit, but I ended up breaking again. Uh, probably because I'm not a good welder. So I ended up having to make the rest of the cuts with the grinder and that's taken me forever. Uh, look at all this dust I got on the ground. Debris that's uh, probably not good to breathe in. Uh, so yeah, but I did get it all finished up. I just need to get it tacked in place. I'm gonna remove this bumper and then we're gonna take some sick shots of my brand new exhaust. Mm -hmm.